Welcome back to the channel guys. So this is how everything's been doing. It's been a while since um, I've checked up on them and made a video about it, but here's everything. There's the toadstool, the chalice, coral right there, the leather in the back, the hammer right here, really big. It's doing really good. And then in the middle, you see the other hammer we have back there and then the frog spawn. And today, we're gonna be fragging this frog spawn right here. It's doing really good, as you can tell. Really big, fluffy. It looks good in the tank. But I'm gonna be cutting off three heads to trade off. And yeah, I'm gonna be doing that right now. And I'll show you guys how it looks out of the tank. And obviously after I frag it, I'll show you guys how it looks. But, I think there's about like five heads on it. So yeah, I'm gonna be fragging it and then trading it off. And then I'll show you guys how it looks after I frag it. And I'll talk to you more about what we end up getting. Hey guys, so right here's the coral. You see how it's doing. I already have the Dremel here plugged in. I have a little frag plug that I'm gonna put it in. And then I have the glue I'm gonna be using to glue it onto there. And this is like the little setup I've been using, but yeah, let me show you guys. Let me take it out of the water here. This is how it's looking. As you can tell, the heads have been splitting really good. And yeah, I'm gonna try to see where I can cut it, maybe down the middle there to the side. But I'll keep keeping an eye on it and I'm gonna keep trying to see where I can probably split them up and I'll get back to you guys. Welcome back guys. So this is pretty much how the frags came out. That one right there was the two head that I cut and here's a three headed one. Um, I didn't want to film it cause I was like super nervous to do this cause I haven't really used a Dremel that much when fragging and the heads were super close to each other. But luckily I didn't, you know, cut off any of the skin or anything. So that's good. Everyone's doing pretty much good. I have them in a dip right now. But um, on this one, I. I found like a fermented snail on it. If you can see right there, the red little snail looking thing. So I'm pretty much gonna show you guys what I do with those. Um, that's pretty much what I do. I grab bone cutters. I have these smaller ones cause I have bigger ones, but I like to use these small ones. You pretty much, oh, I have to open it up first. I'm sorry. So pretty much you go here, you just snip them off like that you know and then i just make sure i clean the surface you know just snip it off right there you see you know make sure you actually get them out and then in the dip you know just keep an eye on it see if events if the worm make sure you got it out and then see if you see anything coming out but i think it should be fine now I just like to make sure, but yeah, and then you put it back in, let it sit there for a bit, and yeah, I have it in the dip, I'm going to leave it there for like 20 minutes, I'm using the revive dip, as you guys know, but yeah, you just use some bone cutters, and then make sure to always clean these off, because you don't want them to get rusty, but yeah, it went pretty smoothly, I'm going to be keeping the two-headed one over there, and then the three-headed one. Once I have it, you know, in the tank and I see it doing good, then I'll go and trade it off. And yeah, I'll show you guys uh, how they look when I put them in the tank. Hey guys, so this three headed frog spawn right now, I'm gonna go and trade it with the guy and I'll show you guys what we end up getting, but here's how it looks and look how everything else is doing. But yeah, it's been here for a while, for more, like a week or more. And the two frags are doing good, the one on the left and the one on the right. So I'm gonna be trading off this three-headed frog spawn and I'll show you guys what I get. Hey guys, I just finished trading off the coral and you see it's gone, but everything else is doing pretty good. I have to see about this one, it's been closed and the flesh doesn't look too good. So I gotta see what's happening there, maybe put some carbon. I don't know if it's maybe the toadstool back there or something, but yeah, everything looks pretty good. But let me show you guys what we ended up picking up. Right now I'm dipping it, um, but we ended up picking up a three-headed uh, hammer coral and it's a gold hammer super nice I think it it's almost a forehead so that's pretty cool 
And then right here for free, the guy gave me like a purple pot, Pavona, I think it was. Um, yeah, it looks super cool. I'll probably put up some pictures of the guy's fish tank. He had a really nice tank. It was like a Red Sea Reefer 900 XL or something, but it was super big and had a lot of nice corals. But yeah, right now I'm dipping the coral and I'll show you guys how it looks inside the tank once I put it in. So I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I totally forgot to do an uh, outro and show you guys how the gold hammer is doing in the tank, but it's been a couple weeks and it looks really good. It's opened up, it looks healthy. And then here are the other hammers that I had bought previously. We have the, the neon green or the toxic green one right there. And then we have the purple and green hammer. And then in the back we have the frog spawn, but yeah, even the Pavona that the guy gave me looks good. Every everything in the tank is doing really good. As you can see, everything's adjusting. I feel like that's grown as well. I mean, I've only had it for maybe a month or so, but everything's been growing really good. The leather coral back there too. And then obviously we have the tote stool. If you see the water, it's a bit green. That's because I put the AB plus food and then after I put in the food in the tank, I realized that I forgot to show you guys how it's doing, but it's been here for a couple weeks. You can even see the little baby head underneath. If I can get a shot of it. There's like a little tiny head underneath. And there's a couple coming out. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, it's a yellow, I mean, it's a gold hammer. My mom says it looks green, but I don't know. I, I feel it is gold. But yeah, it's doing really good in the tank, just like everything else. But soon I'm gonna have to place everything and put them where I might be thinking to put them in the rock work. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, everything's doing really good. Let me get the the different lens, the the orange one, so you guys can kind of see how it looks with that. All I have are these glasses, so I'll just put it over the lens. That's pretty much how they look. But yeah, I feel like everything is doing pretty good in the tank. Everything looks happy. But yeah, you guys let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I still have to do the net top for the Red Sea Reefer. So I still need to build that. And then, and then I have to place these corals somewhere in the rock work because they've already, most of these corals have been here already for a month. So I just have to place them already and put them where I want them to go. But let's see if we can get a shot at the bottom head. I don't know if you guys see right there. There's like a little mini one growing. Super cool and interesting. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave it down below and let me know what you guys want me to do next. And until next time.